This is a video about lightning avoidance and reducing risk factors if you are hit. It is a subject which has fascinated us since a neighboring yacht in Papua New Guinea was nearly sunk by a strike 40 years ago. We live in Arizona, one of the most lightning prone regions on the planet. Although our focus is design and construction of world traveling yachts, what we have learned over many years is applicable on land as well as at sea. We don't mean to scare you with the photos and video, but they do represent reality, and all have been taken by ourselves except for the time lapse. At the end of the video, you will find a few comments and some references about preparation and backup plans, which we and our clients have used over the years. Let's start aboard the FPB-78 Cochise as she is finishing a 7,000 nautical mile passage from Fiji to Panama against the wind and waves. Welcome to Panama, folks. One of the more active lightning areas in the cruising world. We have been following a sail, or rather it's been following us, coming into the canal area. Some good still photographs of our lightning triggers. But it's gotten a little bit active, and uh, you can see the radar screen, but we're taking a right angle jog, speeding up a little bit, and see if we can uh, get ourselves out of this lightning zone. It's just so far we'll go in search of a really good photograph. And it is maybe a little too far, or too close to the case, maybe. I'd say that thunder's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, Steve, why don't you take a little bit of rain cloud off so we can see actually where the storm is. Sure. Okay, so there's no real easy way out. Yeah, it's like we're heading that way right now. Yeah. And the coast is about five miles. Might as well kick the turns up. Maybe go to 1700, 1750. We've actually been going slow, folks. Trying to avoid getting a belt, but uh, that tactic didn't work. We've got some current against us. We've been doing about 11 and a half, 12 knots, and it's like we've got two or three knots against us. <laughs> okay, as you can see from this radar image, the squall is now theoretically behind us. After years of study, we have come to the conclusion that there is no silver bullet to deal with lightning. On land, we have all of our critical computer gear on a single power supply. If a thunderstorm threatens, and when we are away from home, all we have to do is remove one plug from the wall. If we are using a wired internet, these cables are removed from each device or from the router. On the water, our first concern is to be able to continue after a strike. We keep a VHF, GPS, sat phone, and the digital watch wrapped in tinfoil in the microwave oven if conditions are really bad. We have a backup steering system and engine control which minimizes or eliminates integrated circuits. There is a backup autopilot engine CPU and small chart plotter which are normally wrapped in tinfoil and stored in a drawer with no electrical wires anywhere near it. If we are transiting an area of high risk, the integrated ethernet systems on board are separated by simply unplugging a few cables. When installing bonding systems and lightning arresters, keep in mind that lightning does not like to go around corners. Make your conductor wiring straight to ground if possible. At sea, you typically find the worst lightning where you have cold fronts over warm sea. Places like the north wall of the Gulf Stream, anywhere along the eastern seaboard of the U.S., and the intertropical convergence zone, better known as the doldrums. Lightning damage to cruising yachts 
and land-based structures is relatively rare. While we believe in being prepared, we would not want you to put aside your plans and dreams because of what we have been sharing. Having spent the last 40 plus years voyaging in many of the active lightning areas on this planet and being surrounded by strikes on a number of occasions, we have never had a direct hit or suffered damage from a nearby strike. Finally, once the weather clears, the odds are your environment will be exquisitely beautiful with a feeling of well-being and natural ambiance that only occurs after a lightning storm. We'll see you out there.